Welcome back to Let's Play Me Sal. Onigawara. Let's walk to the library. I actually looked up what to do next. Well, somewhat. Only so I have a general idea of what to do next. Remember this. Yeah, we got a bat. Whoa, 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 what? Really? Can't save. Save. Now we can save. That was a bit yikes. Sal's head. Alright, nothing's gonna jump out and try and kill you. Better not. Better not. Better fucking not. Kudos, Grave. Well, shit. Whoa, 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 <laughs> oh, wow, wow, can't go through there, how did the car end up going through that wall of the bathroom and the face and Guy in the bow. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. What else can we do? Oh yeah. We if we can. Uh, Yeah, he's, we're not a monster now, so... Don't kill us, please. She was in a panic after being attacked by a monster. Actually, she teleported out after talking to us. <laughs> oh, good. Just what she wanted. desk in the staff room. Tranquilizer. Now I just gotta remember where the staff room is. It should be right here, actually. Because so that's where we found her. Where do you keep your tranquilizers, boy? Why do we get the feeling that we're gonna accidentally be pricked with it and die? I would do something this game would dump it to. Fuck? 
found these hair. Uh. Visited me the day before she went missing. I was so busy I didn't have the time to listen to her. Think about it. This is two B. This is two A. Somehow I thought I had to do go through, and then I know the one on the third floor is three. Way. Face in the desk. Oh, okay. I gotcha. This is to be. There's a face in the desk. And now just to remember the one where it's asking for in 3C. Let's look at this again. Alright, got it. Literally, we're on part four, and we're almost done with the whole bloody game. Yes. She couldn't. The little girl couldn't be there just to be a death trap. So let's try messing with her again. Flush. And the ball's going to explode. Okay, just don't stop that teleporting. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Self-destruct device activated. Important shit, doll. Fucking on I go. Well, 
One thing I'll say about this story is that it's there seems to be an actual pretty powerful anti-bullying message concerning just the little things. Everyone who dies seems to have been... been potentially able to, uh... Ooh. Do something to help Hanako. Hanako, I mean Misao, when she was being bullied. Alright. Dishinpo, and you're gone. Whew! We got coins! But they decided not to, and that may have potentially considered uh, led to her death. If she is dead or how. Pokari Sweat! What on earth are we gonna do with that? Oh wait, that's not the library. That's the Abyss! Warp the library. Hey there. Yeah, I got all but one. Sudden loud, own quiet place. Okay, that's the only hint. I guess we gotta make a sudden loud sound in a quiet place. Although that's the Kagome room. Don't want that. So I guess we have Bokari Sweat. Instead, we will use a bat and try to beat up a mandrake. We need salt, right? Oh, by the way. Oh, so not even examining it will kill you. I'll break some shit. Nothing happened. So, hey there. Totally forgot about saving Yoshino. Don't mind the fact that she's in bloody guts and pain and shit. Aki. Nothing happens. Give it something to drink. Sudden loud noise. Hmm. Sudden loud noise. Sudden loud noise, like that? That's never gonna get old. Anyways, I was saying something earlier about an anti bullying message. Yeah, it gets kind of lost in the whole Sierra buttload of Sierra death that they packed into this game. Yeah. Nowhere near as atmospheric as... Mad Father may not like some of the... Oh, hey there. Hey there, Skeletor. Some of the scares or some of the things about it. But I'll give you tell you one thing. Mad Father was certainly atmospheric. Oh, you're here. Your girlfriend's dead. Hope you're happy. <laughs> Shut up. 